Let's talk about Chicago. Let's bring Chicago back to the front of the congregation and let's have a conversation because at the forefront of this movement is New York and Chicago. New York and Chicago decided that they wanted to be the poster children, right? Y'all wanted to be the poster child of, and isn't it ironic that these are the two financially, um, the, the biggest financial institution as far as the Chicago Exchange and the New York Stock Exchange, that y'all wanted to be at the forefront of being the blue city. You wanted to be at the, at the forefront of being a migrant city. Neither one of y'all could solve for the issues that y'all already have within y'all own city. And they wanted to be the poster children. So let's really put it in perspective because now we're starting to break it down back from a financial, you know, from a financial lens. And I'm going to be reading Super Chat shortly. I appreciate y'all. Let's break it down from a financial perspective as far as what these two poster children are dealing with. Now, we know that Chicago or, or New York, Eric Adams is saying... Listen, we are spending the average of $383 per day for migrant families on an individual level. 383 times 365 is 104. I told you my mental math was right. I told you my mental math was right. $140,000 a year per migrant family. Some of y'all don't even make half that. And y'all sitting here having a conversation with me about what it takes in order to raise a family of four. Some of y'all don't make this. Y'all don't make $140,000 a year. And they doing it and they don't even have to go to work for it. They get housing, shelter, heat, Probably cell phones. Where the Obama phones? Throw them in there, right? Housing, shelter, heat, healthcare coverage, food, and all they had to do was make. Listen, it was a reason why that guy yesterday said, "Hey, man, I want to go over to New York. I want to go over to Chicago." He was talking to the border agent. He said, "Hey, uh, you you got a ride for me?" And they get free transportation over there. They ain't got to hitchhike. They ain't got to do none of that. They get free buses over into their destination and they're getting $140,000 worth of services. You can't even get $600 a week from your unemployment if you get laid off your job. You don't even get $600 a week from unemployment if you laid off your job. It's over. It's over. Let's talk about Chicago. Debbie Jens, Brona Tumulty has been digging into where and how that money is being divvied out. Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, it's a multi-million dollar question, more than $84 million, actually. That is how much has already been paid out on the migrant crisis here in Chicago, and those bills are piling up. It's a crisis that's dominated headlines almost daily. More than 13,500 asylum seekers pouring into the city since last August, with many sleeping on the floors of police <laughs> I can't believe what I'm watching. You know, this is just seems... I'm reading those Super Chats, Shirley. Thank y'all for supporting the platform. It just seems like this is a movie. This can't be real life. I did not grow up thinking that this was going to be the American dream. Never in a thousand years did I think that we would have open borders. No kind of... Uh, let me continue. I'm going to just play the video. Stations. We are spending money hand over fist to assist these individuals, and yet we still have children, their parents, and the elderly sleeping on floors. But millions of dollars are being forked over in aid, and we wanted to know where that money is being spent. A Freedom of Information request returned hundreds of invoices, and a whopping $84.5 million already paid out since the buses started arriving. The Let's let's back up for a minute now. A lot of people don't understand that you can get because this is public information, right? I know y'all spend all of y'all time trying to figure out who got divorced, and so you're going over to divorce filings in Atlanta and over in California and uh, Calabasas. You're trying to figure out uh, did Jeezy file for divorce? You want to know who filed for bankruptcy as far as their personal bankruptcy and all of that? Those are the really juicy, juicy smoulier stories, right? All of this is public information. This is not a secret. It does not take heavy detective work for you to uncover what these numbers are. Right? If you want to know what's being sent, what's being spent in your city on things that you don't agree with, all you have to do is request for it. It's the Freedom of Information Act. 
Meaning that because they are public servants, shout out to my dog Ash, I'm going to be reading those Super Chat shortly. Because this is public information, it is not hard for you to go in and request this. And this is the amount of money that's already been paid out. And they're budgeting for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions more to be paid out as a result of being a sanctuary city for the migrant crisis. The majority of that, more than 56 million, was paid to a company named Favourite Healthcare Staffing. Over 12 million went to another group, Equitable Social Solutions, which helps deal with housing and shelter. And now, we starting to get down to the deep diving and the science of it all, right? Because what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Is that at the end of the conversation, somehow, some way, it comes back down to the money. This is just since August. Now, $56.7 million allocated to the favorite healthcare staffing. What the hell is that? What is favorite healthcare staffing? What do they do? Because remember, this is y'all money. Meaning you go to work every day, and if you make $100,000 a year and you a single man or you a single strong black woman, you're going to take home $67,000 on average, depending on what state that you live in and what community that you serve. Meaning that the majority of your taxes and your tax dollars that's supposed to be going towards infrastructure, school, right? In order to make sure that we have public transportation, safety, police, fire, great response times, right? Also paying the salaries of the people that's instituting this for you. This is your money at work. So if you don't know who favorite healthcare staffing is over in Chicago, we got a problem. Who the hell is Lakeshore Hospitality and how come you've never heard of them before? Who are, who are running Open Kitchens, the, the company? Who is Sky Tech Enterprises and why did they get a half a million dollars last year? Equitable Social Solutions. What does that mean? What is Equitable Social Solutions that got $12.5 million last year. Who's at the forefront of these companies? Who works for them? Who bid on these contracts? When did they get paid out? How often do they submit invoices? Why are they spending this money on this in the first place? Is the money going? See, now we starting to get to the nitty gritty. Now we starting to get to, get to the real... You don't know who's the head of favorite healthcare staffing. You have no clue who this person is. Balling. See, I'm in the wrong business. I'm sitting here cooking up for you every day on content creation and on YouTube and Facebook and moving over in the Rumble. And I'm over here trying to show you how to build how to build uh, real estate and building houses from scratch and all of this other type of stuff. All I got to do is go and bid on a government contract. Make sure y'all tap into Tam. She's a part of the Patreon, and she's in the Discord helping y'all to get these government contracts on a regular basis. We, we rubbing shoulders with the wrong people. We friends. See, I shouldn't even be hit, sitting here holding accountable to Mayor Brandon Johnson's and all of that. What I should be doing is rubbing shoulders with him in order to get some of this, this migrant money. How can I get the migrant money, Mr. Brandon Johnson? Who is Eric Adams spending all of these billions of dollars on, and why are they getting the money? Who are the heads of these companies and why are we not? See, this is what we should really be doing, doing conversations about. Fuck Jay Morrison. I'm sorry. I'm not cussing no more. Forget Jay Morrison, right? Small time. Caesar, I can care less about what's going on with DJ Envy. Means nothing to me whatsoever. Forget the Truff Real Estate Fund. Where is all of these billions of dollars going to and who own these companies and how come y'all not deep? I might be saying too much. I might be getting myself in trouble. I don't want to mess up y'all money, Freaky Jason. I don't want to mess up y'all money, Freaky Jason. Listen, if y'all over here finessing, allegedly, I have no clue whatsoever. I'm just asking the questions. If we over here getting to the money and y'all getting to it, who am I to then say how it is that Chicago is supposed to spend their tax dollars in order to fund what's going on over at the migrant crisis? Who am I to say who can finesse y'all behind the scenes? Because guess what? They don't have no identity. They walking up to you like this. They not sitting here pitching 
black on black and none of this other type of stuff. You don't even know where your tax dollars is going. Nobody's asking who's at the forefront of these companies that's that's profiting so heavily from what's going on at the migrant crisis. These outsides, big, huge costs that's associated with it. Who is the companies that's building Tent City? What is going on? Do they look like you? Do they represent your interests? Do they even live in your community? You don't know. And you know why you don't know? Because you've never cared to ask the questions that's actually meaningful for how it is that they're allocating your money because you got to pay that money no matter. See, Jay Morrison and them got to finesse you. They got to get sponsors. They got to get Boyce Watkins. They got to get on the platform. They got to pitch you. They got to do all of this. I don't even care because I've never given to Jay Morrison. But guess what? If you live in Chicago, if you live in the United States of America, you giving over your tax dollars and you don't even know where you giving it. At least you know who took, who bent you over and put that lube on you and then went ahead and gave you that oop shebang. See, you know who did the who did the finessing on you. At least I could put a face to it. You know what? If I'm a trick off, at least I know that it's the stripper that got chlamydia inside of the strip club that finessed me. I know what she looked like. At least she made it bounce, 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 bounce. You don't even know who you tricking off over there on the federal government. And you ain't even tripping about it. You have no clue who is finessing you out of your tax dollars. They take your money and they be like this. At least you can put a face to it. At least it's tricking if you got it. You can put a face to it. You got some gulp, gulp 3000. Something happened as a result of it. You don't have no clue who is finessing you and taking your tax dollars. Give me something for it. Give me something for it. Tell me that I can at least but listen. Don't just butter me up. At least bend over a little bit before we walk over there. At least speak to me before you over here finessing me. Give me something to go along with it, but nah, y'all just gonna take it. You taking it like a you taking it like a like a, a modern woman. You taking it like a woman that is on college campus for the first time and she had an HBCU and it's 1993 and she going straight to the fit over to the freak nick. That's you. You that modern woman over at the freak nick. And guess who your pimp is? I'ma show you. More than half a million was paid to SkyTech Enterprises for security. But in addition to what's already been spent, we're told there's an additional estimated cost of more than 48 million in unpaid invoices, which would mean total estimated expenditures to date <laughs> are somewhere in the region of 133 million. It's abysmal. It's shameful. And it's sad that despite all of our best efforts and despite all the money we committed to throwing to help solve this issue brought to our doorstep by the federal government, this is the best that we have to offer. Alderman Raymond Lopez weighing in on the situation today, telling us this problem is only going to get worse. We have to stop playing for the moment and just addressing busload by busload and begin pre making preparations, not only in our city, but in this state to address the fact that we can very easily see upwards of 50,000 migrant asylum seekers sent to Chicago and Illinois in the next year. The city so as I start to ask these questions... One million in taxpayer money was allocated to the crisis back in May, which... <laughs> Y'all, listen, when we started this live stream today, the thing that I asked you to do is start asking yourself the questions. I can't answer them for you. I don't got the I don't got the answers for you. I have my thoughts. I have my theories. I have the things that I believe is happening, but I can't answer the questions for you, Sway. I asked you to ask yourself the questions as we started to go through this live stream today. I need you to start paying attention. Counts for about 38% of what's being spent, while we're told the balance, about 62%, is coming from grants. Now, let me give you the white line, right? From grants is also monies allocated from taxpayers specifically for whatever it is that they paying these companies for. What? We don't know. Who? Who can say? Where are they at? Have no idea whatsoever. All of this, 100% of the pie, 62% plus 38% equal 100% is coming out of the people. Monies. And you know whose money is coming from? It's not mine's. No, it's not mine. I'm going to pay less in taxes than you will this year because I know how to look at things from a business perspective. I'm a bad chaser. I'm a Patreon member. 
Is it coming from the poor people? Absolutely not. They chilling. Slow motion. You know what I'm saying? You know who's this going to come out of? See, you keep paying attention to Oprah and complaining about her. You talking about The Rock. You so easily distracted and still over there begging for reparations while you pan for whoever these people are that's servicing people in your neighborhood who you don't even want there. Maybe, and this is just a theory, maybe there's a lot of different hands. In, maybe there's a lot of different hands that have an incentive to continue to keep this thing going. I have no clue. I'm just taking a hypothesis. This is my educated guess. This is my hypothesis. Maybe it makes sense for you as a taxpayer to contribute. Let me be quiet. It's a lot of hands in the pot. Somebody getting rich. It ain't you. It ain't you. You ain't getting rich as a result of it. Let me be quiet. Let me be quiet because I don't want to upset the powers that be. I want to make sure that we all on the same page. I like my view. I like my view. I like what I got going on out here in Dallas. I like what's happening out here in Dallas. Make sure y'all hit a like for the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. I don't want to upset nobody. I ain't trying to upset nobody. We're going to get back to our regularly scheduled program.